Hey, it's Christian Potenza, and I'm going to tell you why I was really interested in this project because, well, first of all, I didn't even know this project existed until I got a call from my friend Tanya, who I haven't seen forever. And she called me and said, I'd like to do this thing where I go out and photograph you for one hour and that's it. And I thought, well, okay, weird, but not weird. That's great. It's a timed thing instead of like, ooh, now we can do this, now we can do that. Because, you know, I'm an actor and uh, I love getting my picture taken and stuff. And I was like, hey, can I do this? Can I do that? And she said, you can do anything you want, but it's only for one hour. But then she says, what do you, what do you like to do? Or what's something you want to do for one hour? What's something that means something to you? First thing that came to my head was... I like going skateboarding with my daughter. Now that's a very personal thing. That's just between my daughter and I. Yes, yes, I share a lot of that on social media, but it's still manufactured, but it's still me taking the pictures and I angle it the way I want and, and I make my own little videos. But to have somebody else see what they see, I was very interested in that. So we went out and skateboarded. It was a wonderful experience. I actually learned a lot because I wasn't concerned about the camera. I was just there with my daughter and my friend Tanya and couldn't even see her that much. <laughs> she was just gone and I just hung out and I was able to be me. And just even saying that I was able to be me, that's a new thing for me because um, I've been going through massive transitions and uh, metamorphoses and molting and since my mother passed away in April I have um, I've realized that I'm not living the life that I should be it's somebody else's life or a manufactured thing that I made and I saw this as an opportunity for me to maybe observe it from how it really is and with my daughter so and doing something I love because in my changes I found it very hard to actually change or paper up my windows or, or rebrand myself or grow because most of my life is spent in a spotlight or people think I am a certain way because of what I do and I'm trying to calibrate all of that like who am I I tried to not put anything on it I actually was very impressed on how I could actually hang out and get my picture taken or just hang out with my daughter as if it wasn't a thing. And looking at these pictures, I, 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 I just, I saw myself in a different way. I saw my daughter, I, it was from somebody else's point of view, but it wasn't from somebody else's point of view. It was just what was happening. And that, that was the mo most mind blowing experience for me was because everything that I've done, where, whether it you know it be on film camera or voice acting is all manufactured and it's what I do but in this case I was just to be me with my daughter <laughs> doing something I love and there's nothing fantastic about just going to the skate park with your daughter but for me it is and to see somebody else just capture that instead of me capturing it and making it something else and positioning myself and making us look like it's cool. I wanted to do it because it was like going to see a psychic. I wanted to know some truth and I wanted to get some insight. And that's why I did this. And I don't regret it at all. It, it's wonderful. It's like not a mirror reflection because a mirror reflection is something different. This is a moment in time that was captured. And I wasn't conscious of it for the first time. And it was me just being me. One of my favorite shots in here is me having a brain freeze, which happens every time I have ice cream with my daughter. Because that's what I do. But nobody knows that. It was nice to be involved in something that was still artistic and meaningful and where I could just, instead of pulling back the curtain so far and just letting everyone in, in a weird time in my life 
this was a celebration for one hour in the countless hours that I have in my life that are so extreme and so I don't know the word I'm looking for but it was just nice to have somebody else capture something where I could just be and for me to look back and share one hour not a whole day not a whole month it wasn't a documentary but it was it was a documentary of 60 minutes and there's so much truth in those pictures and that's what I like and it was from somebody else who I trusted that's why I did it and also my daughter's getting older and she's growing up so fast so now I have some really cool pictures that weren't taken by me and the way I saw it, it was by somebody else and I have those with my daughter and I'm grateful I'm grateful for the whole experience I'm grateful thank you Tanya